give up a big hand for Mark Theobald, everybody. Come on. All right. What's going on, people? Uh, I just got back from uh, Jamaica, Ocho Rios. If you have not been, do not look at the brochure. The brochure is a pump fake. On the brochure, they got a bunch of empty beaches. The beaches are not empty because there's about 75 Ocho Rians on that beach trying to sell you a T-shirt. <laughs> and they're very aggressive about selling T-shirts in Ocho Rios because this is what they do to get your attention. They call you by whatever famous American they think you favor. <laughs> so soon as I stepped on the beach, they're like, yo, 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 Tiger Woods, you want a t-shirt, Tiger? <laughs> Tiger! You have money left, Tiger? Hmm? <laughs> she not take all your money, has she, Tiger, has she? You wanna win a tournament, you buy a t-shirt, Tiger. Like, I didn't wanna buy a t-shirt from him. I was like, yo, dude, I don't want a t-shirt. He got offended that I didn't wanna buy a t-shirt. He's like, you don't wanna buy my t-shirt? Hmm? You don't want me to feed my family? You gonna kill my family? Like, he got loud, and all these people from the beach start gathering around, and you know how crowds are, they get nosy. They're like, yo, dude, why you wanna kill his family? <laughs> they don't even know his family. But I felt pressure from the crowds. So I was like, yo, give me five t-shirts, right? But that's the wrong thing to do, because once you buy, everybody else selling, see you buying, you become the sucker. Because I'm walking along the beach with my 500% cotton t-shirts, <laughs> and this next guy comes to me like, yo, 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 Chris Brown, you wanna buy a bracelet? I was like, hold on. Man. First of all, I'm Tiger Woods. That's number one, get that right. Get that... I got mad, man. I don't like the fact they call me Tiger Woods, man, because Tiger ain't hot anymore. Seven years ago, Tiger was the man. Remember when Tiger was the man? He ain't no more, no. You know why? Because he ain't being Tiger. He ain't sleeping with random women. That's the only way he can go back to being Tiger Woods. That's the only way he stay focused on the golf course. And the only reason he ain't doing it is because of public pressure. And when I say public pressure, I mean women. Women are still mad at him. And I understand the anger, ladies. It's not that he cheated, it's the quantity. I get it. It's like, damn, Tiger, you was a married man. 15 women, Tiger? 15 women? 15? He's a competitor. <laughs> All right? And he's used to playing in 18-hole increments. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Just trying to fill out his card. That's all he's trying to do. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's all I'm saying. I'm from New York City. We've got a lot of freaky weather happening lately uh, all over the country. We've got tornadoes going on. We had Hurricane Sandy. We even had an earthquake in New York City. That is not natural, people. Earthquake in New York City. I didn't even know he was having an earthquake because at the time of the earthquake, I was in the shower masturbating, right? <laughs> I didn't know that was an act of nature. I thought that was an act of me. <laughs> I started looking at my hand like, yo. <laughs> Yo, I felt the earth move on that one. <laughs> I got out the shower. My wife was like, did you feel that? I was like, did you feel that? <laughs> that P90X is starting to pay off. That's P90X. <laughs> P90X right there. That earthquake happened. I thought it was the end of the world, man. You know what I thought the end of the world was, too? When I saw that little two-year-old baby from Indonesia smoking them cigarettes. Remember that? <laughs> I thought that was a seventh sign right there. I was like, oh, I'm reading the Bible right here. Here it is. Because it wasn't that this kid was two and smoking cigarettes. It was how this little toddler from Indonesia was smoking. You just, if you saw the video, this kid was smoking like a retired veteran. <laughs> like he'd been doing it for 20 years. He was just puffing away like, <sighs> gag, gag, goo, goo. <laughs> gag, gag, goo, goo. <laughs> two years old. 40 cigarettes a day. And a lot of people at the time being very judgmental about it, like, ah, how you gonna let a two-year-old smoke 40 cigarettes a day? You don't know his life. <laughs> a little kid was from Indonesia. Indonesia, if you had to make 90 pair of Nikes in 12 minutes, you'd be smoking two packs of cigarettes now. There's no 
little child labor laws in Indonesia, that little kid was probably the branch manager down there. Like, God damn it! We need more Nikes, come on, guys! Okay, and where's my mommy? Is anybody see my mommy? I'm stressed out over here. I'm teething. My hair's falling out. It's like, dude, it's growing in. Yeah, whatever! I'm just uh, stressed. Got a new thing going on right now. There's a hot button right now. Is there, anybody says no more bullying. Bullying's wrong. I don't know. I grew up with bullying. I survived it. How come the next generation can't survive bullying? And now they got movie stars promoting it. You got to get the right star to promote it. I saw The Rock on TV doing a PSA. He's like, hey, don't bully nobody. <laughs> bullying's wrong. I was like, dude, are you bullying me? <laughs> And to not bully, but I don't like your attitude, Dwayne. I don't like it at all. Put the eyebrow down, I don't like it. I think bullying is necessary. I think by being ostracized from the cool kids, it makes you a more creative person. I don't think Bill Gates would have been Bill Gates if he was the cool kid in high school, no. It's because people were like, get the hell out of here, you four-eyed freak. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> Microsoft, hey, there you go. You look at every inventor in the history of time, they all look like people you want to punch right in the face. That's the way it is. And I think it's wrong for this country to be against bullying. This country was founded on bullying. Christopher Columbus bullied the Native Americans into extinction. He got a holiday out of it. I get 40% off of Macy's for Columbus Day. <laughs> I'm not giving my sweaters back, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just, saw, I just read the Arnold Schwarzenegger book. I'm the only one that read it, I don't care. I find him fascinating. I wanna know how he got away with what he got away with. How do you have a 20 year relationship with a staff member, 13 year old son, nobody know about it. How do you fly under the radar in this day and age of information between Twitter, TMZ, and Facebook, how does nobody know about this illegitimate son? And I figured out how Arnold did it. He had the perfect cover. The woman was ugly as sin. <laughs> Did you see the woman he slept with? She looked like she was the head of a Mexican drug cartel. I was like, why is Arnold sleeping with the lead actor from the movie Machete, why? Why is he sleeping with Danny Trio? What is wrong with him? And let me tell you something, that woman had to tell somebody, if you sleep with a married man, you're gonna tell your best girlfriend. She wouldn't just sleep with a married man, she sleep with a married man that was governor of California. That's at least five girlfriends, people. He was, he was also a movie star, that's about five more girlfriends. Ex-bodybuilder, five more, I figured she told 15 people. You know what that means? And them 15 people she told, all 15 of them, looked at her. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. You and Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're lying, Maria. You're lying. Okay, you know what, I'm dating Denzel, so if you're lying, all right, I'm dating Denzel, there we go. But I believe every man has done what Arnold did, which is to sleep with a woman that he won't admit to sleeping with, ladies. And we call her the ugly chick, and we won't admit it to nobody. Not our best friend, not our pastor at our church. Like we could be at the gates of heaven, they'd be like, look, all you got to do to get in <laughs> is admit what you did. May 5th, 2009, and fellas, We'll be like, Jesus, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you going to hell? Well, the hell I'm going, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you all very much. My name is Mark Dearborn. Thank you.